What's up everyone? It's Jones Gold here coming at you with another video, also known as K Jones, if you're watching this video on that channel. Today we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing Gus Villa Jewelry Miami Cuban bracelet, eight millimeter, and I think the gram weight's like uh, 42 grams, so I'm not too sure. We'll check it out. Um, I think that's what it was supposed to be. So before we get into the unboxing, which is a little nerve wracking because I have to do this all in one take. There's no editing and everything. So you welcome guys. Uh, I just wanted to say that basically I learned, heard about Gus Villa Jewelry because I watch a lot of Miami Cuban videos on YouTube because I love gold and gold jewelry. And uh, the company's feed or YouTube channel popped up because the owner, I guess, was doing a podcast just about things in general with jewelry, life, uh, precious minerals, and everything like that. And he talks about, I'll go ahead and open, while I open this, he talks about, you know, how he started Gus Villa Jewelry and how he got there with his life as an entrepreneur and all of his failures and his experiences and kind of like what he experiences in his life and um oh there's a pool tab hello oh i don't want to show my address but um and i just like dude this guy's like really genuine and cool and i really want to try out his cubans i saw uh, pictures and videos and whatnot on instagram and also his youtube channel and they looked really nice additionally there weren't many videos about doing reviews on Gus Villa jewelry and I was like you know what I hit him up on Instagram and like let's do a Miami Cuban bracelet now I'm gonna be straight up with y'all this is the second box in a box so I'm gonna be straight up with y'all they uh so they discontinued doing uh Miami Cubans that are below 10 millimeters so that's just something to take into account uh I don't know if they're still doing that um if they're still doing below 10 millimeters but to be honest guys for a bracelet especially you kind of want 10 millimeters and up i just have really small wrist so for me i think 10 millimeters would look great um i just decided to go with eight because they were still doing that at the time so just wanted to have that little disclaimer so i bought this and it was ready does this have a pull tab too? Yes, it does. Haha. -ha. I bought this and it was ready less than 14 days, which is crazy because my the handmade, by the way, all handmade, and the lock is handmade as well. If you buy a gold Miami Cuban, and I was just like, that's freaking nuts because Daniel's jewelry is wait time. Daniel Jewelry Inc.'s wait time right now for my chain, my 14 karat. Uh, Miami Cuban chain that I've purchased from them is like 10 weeks, nine to 10 weeks. So like, I was like, dude, that's so fast. This got here so quickly. Um, I know Gus Villa Jewelry also does um, silver uh, Miami Cubans. The box lock on that is not handmade because box lock, the labor's like three to four hours to make on average. Um, probably for an experienced person a little bit less but the thing is is like the chain itself the 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 labor for the box lock you would box lock you would make little to no profit so those are casted but they're done really well and i'm not sure there's any companies that do handmade box locks on silver anyway so oh my god i'm so excited oh there's cushion okay good just make sure i got everything and um yeah their silver cubans are gorgeous they are rhodium plated by the way it came in this and they also do cubans were silver and it's plated with gold so that's an option and from what i've heard is that they're dang this is really uh packaged well so we're just gonna pull this out you know and i'm not supposed to use this knife for that it's supposed to be self-defense but we're gonna do it anyway just to speed things up and um yeah they're the gold plating they use is actual gold it's not like electro plating or anything it's actual gold and it's really thick plating 
so uh, from my understanding their gold plated cubans are absolutely gorgeous too and with gold plating you can't really tell the difference whether it's solid gold or not i don't think they do hollow cubans no idea i think it's all solid pieces all right dude this thing is protected so well like your girl can't even like look at this bow wrap taking care of business here this is the box this is what y'all all came here for it's fantastic look how thin and beautiful and just i'm just teasing no but i so saw a lot of companies they go full out on their packaging and to me i want to tell you what like i'd rather put my money and my time into customer service and also the product that's just me um that that's just a personal preference but i do appreciate companies that do do nice packaging and product and whatnot oh look he's even got a really nice box in here so yeah for those companies that do take the extra step and mile like this with with fine uh, jewelry you know i appreciate it but i never expect it because the product is what's inside so this is the box if y'all are interested it's really nice great way to hold the bracelet i wasn't going to get a bracelet originally you know i i got the 14 karat cuban come and i've been wearing 24 karat and um i don't wear my 24 karat cuban a lot because one it is so heavy because it's 24 karat and two the lock has lost tension because it is 24 karat everything else the links look great i don't mind if they're tattered or scratched obviously i don't mind if my jewelry is tattered or scratched but you know i wanted something that would match my 14 karat i definitely think 14 karat is the way to go for everyday wear some say 18 karat but i think 14 karat i had a 10 karat chain for years and loved it i got bashed on because they're like it's 10 karat it's not it's not even more than 50 percent gold i'm like i don't care i wore it day and night and i loved it and i passed it down to my brother so you know whatever you know what i'm saying oh okay okay it's like a satin lining for those that y'all care about the box and really nice plush damn this got weight dude um i will be cutting in the video to show y'all the weight i mean actually weighing it and uh also close up with it on my wrist and close-ups of the chain itself and here i have some millimeter like clompers so we can also do that as well it's got weight dude I think Daniel Jewelry's, I saw they were like for a seven inch uh, length chain. It was like 36 grams. This is an, a 6.5 inch, which is smaller and 42 grams. It might be a little more. So these are going to be probably thicker lengths. I'm not too sure. Oh shit. Holy moly, excuse me for my language. This is high polish, high, high polish. What? That, these links are tight. Okay, For oh my gosh. Okay, I like the symbol for Gus Villa Jewelry. And then they got 14 karat there. That's really nice. Uh, because people are wacky about the hang straight test, which doesn't even matter that much. I mean, you don't want your chain like twisting and twirling, but a little bit of like curvature at the end is okay. Especially if it's for your wrist, you know, this thing hangs so straight. Great filing. Holy moly. I'm going to go ahead, pause the video so I can like look at this more closely and enjoy it and review it. Mm. And I'm going to be showing y'all um, some the weight and also some close-ups. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and weigh it. It was supposed to be 42 grams. And it came out to 45. So it is over 42 grams. Um, as you can see, when I pulled it up, all the links came out straight. So no kind of kinky or anything like that, which is a really good sign. So 45 grams. So it came out higher than the expected weight. <clears throat> I didn't have to pay more because it was over. It was a uh, not higher than three percent more. But usually, if it comes out heavier, you pay a little bit extra if it's five percent more in weight. 
And if it's under 5% or more in weight, they'll refund you. Awesome. Holy moly, this bracelet is like perfect insane um i've owned now let's see my 10 carat then i have my 24 carat and now i have a 14 carat here bracelet and then a 14 carat chain coming i will do a comparison video between gus villa jewelry and uh daniel jewelry because i'll have 14 karat and 14 karat and they're both eight millimeter side by side so i really hope that helps out hope that helps out and they'll be the same color which is yellow gold dude this lock is insane it is so tight like i don't even know dude i was having a hard time i try to off screen let me show you so we're gonna do the box lock here so tight did you hear that dude fantastic look how small my wrist is <laughs> but it is gorgeous oh my gosh all right so we're gonna go ahead and put this on my wrist here the box lock it 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 it, it, it loosens up slowly over time so I won't be struggling as much as I am today. But right now I'm struggling a little bit. Like it's, this thing is so, I'm just like, can't even get it undone. Which is good. You want it like that because, or maybe I'm just dumb and don't know how to do it. You want it like that because over time it will slowly lose temp tension. Oh my gosh. Like, this box lock is so strong that I'm can't even get it off. Hold on here. It's okay. There we go. That's how you want it, though. Gosh, that's what I'm talking about. Handmade box lock, most are casted. So the fact that Gus Villa Jewelry does that, that's great. And Daniel's Jewelry has got some competition. No joke, they do. Um, so and i love daniels and i love their cubans right off the bat differences i can see that the file is a little bit different i think the links are tighter with gus julep gus villa jewelry i could be wrong i gotta look at my 24 karat one i don't like comparing 24 karat to 14 karat it's not really fair because 14 karat links get banged up and they're just different they lose tension it's just it's not a good comparison um but the top of the bracelet has more of like a round curvature where there's more of a flat file on the bottom where daniel jewelry ink is a little bit more uniform and these i would say the it's a little bit thicker on the file like it's a little bit thicker still still super flat just a little bit thicker on the side which is nice you know a lot of people are going to prefer that so i'm going to put this on my wrist diamonds on my wrist sorry i think this is a song okay it's very difficult to put a bracelet on by yourself by the way or at least it is for me this is going to look so good with my 14 karat cuban coming from daniel jewelry inc which i will do a review on that as well Gus Villa Jewelry, y'all are bomb. Like, so bomb. All right, we're gonna put this on. Oh, you hear that clasp? Oh. That is so nice. Look at that. And it fits perfect. You want that gap right there? So six inch wrist, 6.5 for me. Look at that. It is gorgeous. And of course, you know, I'll give y'all some more close ups absolute fire super high polish very interesting as that like they don't really do a really hard plating or anything it's kind of like i think that natural 14 karat gold maybe they do i'm not sure but to me it's perfect you know i love the box lock shape here i also really appreciate that their box lock is longer like 
Daniel's is a little bit shorter. I don't think one's better than the other. It's just preference. But I actually really like that. So this is so nice. I'm just checking everything out, guys. Beautiful. So on my caliber over here, let's measure the millimeter width. I just got this, and this is my first time using these. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to try this out. And I'm, I'm not very good at it, especially with one hand, right? But we're going to try it out. I got nine millimeter on that. God. If I got, if this is extra, this is extra maybe. Maybe I got an extra millimeter. I don't know. What's up? I'm fine with that. Okay. Nine millimeter. I got an extra millimeter. How freaking lucky is that? Well, Gus Villajor, you definitely going over on that. 9.2. This is on average 0.2 millimeters off. It's coming in at nine, guys, which no complaints on that. Like, you, they tend to do 10 millimeter and up anyway. They were, you know, at the time... They were just still willing to do the, uh, yeah, I'm getting nine millimeter. That's sick. You know, that's really important when you order something, when you order 14 carat, you want 14 carat and up, um, and such. You want, you want eight millimeter up. You, you want plum, I think was it's called, you know, this is so gorgeous. I love it. I'm actually going to be taking off this bracelet and replacing it with this Gus Villa jewelry bracelet because this is a uh, 93% or 96% gold. It's 23 karat and it's pretty banged up. It looks still fantastic, but I'm going to switch it out for this because I want to kind of get prepped to wear the 14 karat uh, gold every day and I love it so much. It is awesome. I'm going to go ahead and show you all them close-ups again at the end of the video all right so here is it me showing it from y'all's perspective 9.1 looks really good we'll measure at a different part of the chain and here we also have 9.1 millimeters i bought eight millimeter it was a millimeter above which is really good um not upset about that just know that when you order a certain millimeter it could be it's going to be a little higher you know and you sometimes you guess even a millimeter higher it just depends um but no because these are handmade they're you know it comes out sometimes as is all right guys so here's a photo of me wearing the bracelet and here is also a video of me wearing it and as you can see when that gold hits hits the sunlight. It's just shining. Really beautiful. And um dang. It's really nice. Uh check out Gus Villa Jewelry. I'll put the link to their website in the description along with their Instagram. Say Jones Gold sent you. <laughs> and uh, see what they can do for you but uh their prices are amazing their wait time of 14 days right now is so good that could change d depending on demand but um dude underrated underrated i'm surprised there's not more reviews on youtube this is so nice all right hope y'all have a good one and that y'all enjoy this video don't forget to leave a like and comment below and subscribe for more videos like this Ooh, deuces.